and try and catch Redfin on as many different lures as possible. So first off, we're going to start with this uh, jig spinner with a two and a half inch bait junkie. I think I see there's a lot of movement on the surface, so let's see. Put one out there. If I don't get a bite on this first cast, I'll be a little bit worried. Yep. But I did get a bite. It didn't hook up. Which is kind of a good thing is everyone says it's bad luck to get one on your first cast. Yep. Oh, it's spat it out. Yep. Here we go. Alright, there's the first one. Small guy. We can uh, tick this lure off. I've got a couple of lures that I've never used before that I'd like to try that are a bit obscure. So, come buddy, check him in over there, either way. Okay, I'm going to try this little crankbait here, I've, it's like one inch long, never used it before, thought it was a bit of a gimmick after I bought them, so I never used them, but I guess today we'll find out. Jeez, that cast went a lot to the right compared to where I thought it would go. Yep, and got a bite straight away. Boom. Does it work? Yes, it does. Now it's even got a rattle in it. It's pretty cool. Oh, God. That wasn't, that wasn't enough fun. Let's try again. That was too easy. God, that went way to the right. <laughs> Again, just like the, the first cast. Yep, again. Oh, this one feels a bit better. Yeah, this one's pulling a little bit more. Yep, there we go. The guy wriggled himself off, so that was good. It's uh, two fish in two casts on this little crankbait, so they definitely work. Now I'm just going to chuck something on because I've already got it rigged. Everyone knows this works. It's a 120th ounce size 4 bait junkie jig head and a, uh, a 2 inch motor oil grub so I'll do that and then I'll rip off the grub and then I'll put on something different geez even that cast went way more to the right yep on how easy it is it's irresistible this lure it's a cheat code fresh or salt water it's actually not motor oil it's um, midnight oil it's the one with the gold flecks in it just trying to bend this hook out I might have to use the pliers put it back Oh, 
All right. Let's try the Swedish fish. No, they're not Swedish. They're not American or even Australian. They're made in Turkey. I don't know if they're a well-known product in Turkey, but yeah, to my surprise, they're Turkish. I don't know if that's gonna hold, but we'll try. There it is. Let's see what we got. Hook stayed on the hook, cast it a mile. Oh yeah, it's, it's getting a hit. Oh, it got a hit. Just a few meters ahead. Just had a big splash up a bit further up. So it could be promising. Obviously I'm having to shake the rod tip a bit to give this, this uh, can do some action because <laughs> it's obviously not a fishing lure. Nothing. Nothing again. Jesus, see how far that casted. Bloody hell. Just gave it a little backhanded flick, it nearly ended up on the other side of the river. I'm just gonna sort of just retrieve it and let it sink, sit on the bottom a little. Yeah, there's a touch there. Maybe these fish are on low carb diets. I'll try and burn it in a little. <laughs> it's basically a top water lure. You see it creating a little wake there. That'd be sick. Top water Swedish fish. lure might be a good candidate for um for estuary perch or maybe some of the northern species bass and what why not yep boom yep ah oh, come on it's be interesting to see whether it bit the tail off Or if it did have the, it's still intact. That was a good strike, that. Oh. Being followed. Oh, I reckon two more casts, and I might. Mm, I don't know. Might it might give up on it? Might return to it. Yep, 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 yep. Come on, keep the tension on. I spat it. Jesus. Lure is still intact. Let's just make a little modification to it. It's so slimy. It's 
just going to rip it off, but let's uh, let's let's not modify it too much, otherwise it's uh, not really a Swedish fish. It's a worm. Look, I'm gonna give it one more cast. Oh, look at that. Look at those bubbles there, what the hell? It's like a jacuzzi. It must be a turtle or something. Still going. Oh yeah, there's some bubbles out there. Oh, got a tap there. in his mouth. Yep, he's, he's, he's biting it. Just there. Uh, let's see if I can just raise it up a little, see if he's there. Hey, there's definitely fish here because there's little bait fish are scurrying away. Alright, I'm going to give up on this idea. There's a, there's a rise just there. Check a new little run. I moved house recently and found these in my old house in a box. These are got to be something like 10 years old. Don't know if they got a, a production date on them or something like that, but yeah, I think they're about 10 years old. So let's just try some random whatever the hell's in here. I think I put some other plastics in here that are not necessarily the shrimp. Let's uh, we'll have a look. Look at that, oh my god, the scent. Oh, these will definitely work. Freaking hell, these have been in my hot car. That juice is hot, like a coffee. I've gone to color I would never really go for. There's not too much hook coming out of that. I'd usually use a, a number two hook for a bait that big, but I'll have to uh, see if number four will work. Oh yeah, <laughs> just on my line, a fish rose to the surface. I don't know if you can see that. Yep, bang, got one, yep. Probably that fish that rose to the surface. It's pretty small. He's there still. Oh, came out of his mouth on the bank. Small guy. That was a little bit too easy. Let's just see if we can grab another, get another one out there. That's what I love about redfin. If uh, if they're there, you'll you'll get one because they're super aggressive with their eating. Doesn't matter what lure you throw at them. Seems like they'll take anything. bites but obviously with the hook not really being the ideal size I'm probably not getting 
probably won't get a very good hookup, right? Let's try down here. I'll just retrieve it a little bit faster and more aggressive because hopefully that'll um, get more of a reaction bite, which will hopefully mean a better hookup on this on this bait that's a bit too big for its. Yep, boom. There's another one. There's a big splash out there. Let's just see if I can, I don't know how snaggy this is, might be able to put in a cast here and we'll see, I'll put in a cast here and see if I can retrieve the fish through the, yep, bite, yep, Ooh, yeah. he's on but he's only a tiddler. Shit. I'm gonna fucking get him through whoops. Get him through the reeds, there he is. There we go. Maybe a bit of a better size. Let's say he's in the low nine inches, probably low twenties, something like that. All right, let's try another lure. Now I've got this spinner here that I probably got from either Amazon or AliExpress. And um, I don't know, <laughs> sort of didn't like the look of them and never used them. Because um, I always like to use lures that I have confidence in. And I have no confidence in and not a lot of time to fish, so I always go to my sort of go-to few lures. But so I guess, let's try and gain some confidence. See, there was a big, there's a big ripple out there. I'll try and pop a cast in there. Straight out there. Yep, right about there. Slow roll it. I think I'm getting hit, or maybe I'm hitting the bottom. Yep. It's definitely hit that time. I'm just feeling weightless. Is it weird? Ah, oh, he's on. He's on. There we go. Oh, another one that's got off. I'll put him back so it counts. It's another little guy. I felt weightless. I'm like, what did the... Did the lure come off, but he must have been swimming right at me. Let's just try again, just to prove that wasn't a fluke. I don't think it's too deep out there, so I'm pretty much flicking the bell arm over straight away and retrieving it. Hit there. Gonna have a look close by to see. Oops, just, just to see if that's spinning. Man, it seems like <laughs> there's a certain pace where it spins and it's the margin of error is not very big. Too fast or too slow, it won't spin. Maybe that's just a product of, of um, cheaper spinners. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's moving at all.
Oh, it's following it. It's following it. It's following it. I was just... Look, he's right there. Can you see my shadow? Crazy things. Okay, I'm not a creature bait guy. Um, because mainly I've been going for saltwater stuff. But it um, seems like a lot of perch fishermen use, use creature baits. So, yeah. So, grab this one. Pretty sure it's an Amazon one. And I've got it Ned rigged. That's what it looks like. Nice and floppy. Should be okay. And let's see. I might try casting this way. I think just a meter or so past where I cast it, there's there's a log or something in the water. So I'm just doing a a quarter turn of the handle and a a little uh, flick of the rod. So we'll see. Feels like a snag, if anything. And this log here. Oh, there's a fish there, definitely. That's unfortunate. It's not even on this log. Back in a straight line. Yeah, it's off. Sweet, got it still. Yeah, whenever you get snagged, you want to, you know, point your rod at the snag so you're not putting any bend in the rod when you're pulling it. Just grab your spool and pull back. It's a big splash. Big splash over there. Getting a bite there. It's right at my feet. Yep. Nice. It's right here. Yep, still there. You can see my line moving around and ticking. Yep, he's hooked. Another slightly bigger one. Oop. Sorry, dude. So, creature bait works. Put him back there. What are you doing, bro? He <laughs> spun around and... Um, spun around and came towards me. All right. Just for the fun of it, let's try one of these TRD bugs in hot snakes. I think that was a an unpopular colour that was on sale on Hot Tackle or yeah, I don't know, some website. Davos maybe. Whew. Big bait, big bait. Such a small hook. This is a number two hook. I would definitely, that's yeah, not too bad actually. Size one would be a good candidate. This little would be a good candidate for a size one. Let's just pop it out there. I don't see how this lure could be any better than the last one there. Very similar. This one's got a slightly bigger profile. The material seems more or less the same. But I 
think this bait, because it's just a little bit bigger, would um might scare off the, the tiddlers. Which might be a good thing or a bad thing depending on how many bites you're getting. If you just wanna get a bite, it's probably better to size down. Just seen a uh, dragonfly land on the surface there. Be interesting to see if a uh, if a fish comes up and grabs that. Yep, just getting a bite right here. But I cast it out, I reel it in, and then I get a bite four feet from the from where I am. I just want to hook one on this lure and then we'll change it up again. Yep, tap, 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 tap. And he's Fish, they're definitely not like trout or carp where they'd be spooked by coming this close to the bank. Now just for the hell of it, I'm gonna cast it out there and just treat it like a like a swim bait. I'm just gonna just gonna see if um, we can get a hook up like that. Nothing there. These creature baits, they seem like something you would, you would whack into a snag and just, you know, just jiggle it around. So it's probably not, not really ideal for what we're trying to do here. So I'm gonna just change it up. I'm gonna put something else on. I said to uh, Sen and Stanley on YouTube that I'd use uh, one of the baits that he was using in his latest BS, BFS video, but I don't have the particular color I was talking about on me. I've, I've got a few tackle bags, it's in one of them. But this is also a uh, supercontinent one from AliExpress, probably two and a half inches. And I've never used it before because <laughs> I like natural colors. But again, we'll find out if it works. Boom, straight away, Jesus Christ. As soon as it hit the damn water. Go over here. Get a bit of a better angle to come across come across the front of these reeds no, Alright, let's try again. That was a pretty good strike. Okay. There's a follower. He's on. Oh, it came off. It's only small, that guy. Yep, boom. Ah, come on, come on, come on. Tick, tick, tick. Yep. 
Keep the tension, keep the tension. There you go, he's just a little guy. There you go. Any color will work, because I think they're biting on reaction. They might even be biting in defense, not necessarily for food. Come on, get out. Okay. All right. Hopefully I got that last one on camera. I don't know if I did, but um, I'm gonna switch up to probably what I would have the most confidence in here. Two and a half inch grub in a kind of orange color with a uh, with a Revlox jig head. Let's see if I can pluck a bigger one out of here. Oh, straight away. Straight away. Don't come off, mate. I think this one's decent. Straight away. It was another smally one. And as soon as it hit the water. Boom, yep. Yep, he's on. making me want to try top water. Thank you. I reckon that, that got followed on the surface. So I wouldn't be surprised if I could get a top water bite. A little bit more weight, a little bit more weight. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Put the bigger bait on and put the bigger fish. Now, we'll see him take off. Boom. All right, let's try that again. Yeah, so just to explain my setup, this is a one to three kilo rod and it's a two to 10 gram casting weight. So it's a little bit of a heavier ultralight rod, six foot 10. That's Abu Garcia Ray Rex. It's uh, maybe a 2021 model. And this is an old real Sefluga uh, Supreme XT. Um, it's got six pound braid, six pound leader, which is about a rod length long and a two and a half inch grub with a TT Revlox jig head. I'm not too sure on the size. It's a one eighth, one eighth of an ounce size two hook, I think, maybe size one. Let's see if we can get another one. Oh, there's a lot of boiling over there. I have a cast over there. Next. I cannot believe it. I think I just got my PB red fin and it wasn't recording and I put him back and everything. But um, oh, that's a bit of a bummer. Uh, I'm gonna try a top water lure. I'm gonna try a Bass Day sugar pen. There it is on the surface over there. I'm not sure how to retrieve it. There's meant to be a special action that you do. Oh, there we go. Oh wow, it's starting from side to side. That's so cool. OK. 
Okay, might need a bit of practice here. But it looks like you can get it to do a swimming action like a minnow on the surface. Someone in the comment section let me know how to do this. So I'm just jerking the rod left and right to try and do it. I'm going to give it 10 casts and see. Let's see if I can get the hang of it. There's a bit of a rise there. Yep, right there there was a rise. You can see the lure darting. Oh yeah, there was something behind it just then. Yep. Ooh. Yep. There's something behind it. Yep, on. Yeah. There you go. Hopefully, yeah, looks like it's recording. Just a little red fin on a sugar pen. <laughs>